I recently posted a video talking about installing a cold air intake on my 2016 Passat. At the end of the video, I talked about how important it is to double check your tightness and to go back afterwards to double check to make sure that the parts are still uh, secure and fastened and everything. Today, when I was driving back home from work, I noticed my car sounded like it was just slipping a little bit. Uh, when I accelerated, it almost sounded like it was just gasping for air. I don't know what was going on. I didn't get any check engine light or any other uh, notification through uh, the tuner or anything like that. So I got home and this is what I noticed. <laughs> So here you can see the in-gen cold air intake has already been installed. However, if you look right here at the bulb coupler, it had actually come undone. That's no fault to in-gen or the parts that were provided. Like I said before, the uh, parts that were provided for the cold air intake were phenomenal. It's just happened to come undone, whether that is from the way it enters the, the mount here and just the projection and angle alignment, it just not wanting to connect up right. I just need to do a little bit more tweaking here to get this to go back in and have it stay in so that I, I don't run into this problem again. This is a major problem out here in Arizona because we are in such a dusty environment because this leads directly to my turbo. I mentioned before getting any type of dirt, grime, anything like that going into this intake pipe here, going straight in outside of the filter can be devastating for the engine itself. One thing you can do is measure to the bulb. I got about an inch of space before it starts to actually get to the bulb. So what I'll wanna do is come down here to my, my pipe. I'm actually gonna measure out at three quarters of an inch. Actually, we'll do about seven eighths. I'm gonna make a little mark at seven eighths. That way I know that the coupler is going to be covering at least seven eighths of an inch of this pipe. And I'm gonna come back here and do it to the top pipe. By the looks of it, I had this bulb too high on the upper pipe here. So with that mark at seven eighths, I know once I cover it up, I'm at least an inch on there, which is the distance between the edge of the coupler and the start of the bulb. That way I have good coverage and not too much up here on the top. So right now, I'm exactly at that 7 8 mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and Pull it down just a little bit here and get past that. And I'm gonna keep going until I find the mark on the top pipe. So there's the 7 8 mark, which I'll allow this pipe to go in and that one to cover up a little bit more. Now I can go back with my ratchet straps here Now by moving it around, I can see that bulb is not coming off. And I'll just have to come out here again 
in the next couple days or a day and just double check to make sure that it's still secure. So that's it. Make sure that you're constantly checking your uh, tightness, your fitment, all of that, because that makes a huge difference when you install aftermarket parts on your vehicles. Even though you feel that you got it good the first time, put a few miles on there and just double check to make sure that uh, it's still all together. That way it'll save yourself, yourself some uh, repair costs down the road. You wanna save all that extra money for all your extra parts and building other projects. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.